WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. Currently got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's off 737. S&P's down 93. Nasdaq's off 384. Russell's off 59 points. That's nearly 3%. The semis are up 3% and change 106 points to the uh, downside. You've got a spot volatility index that is up 26%. That's up 550. Any time you get a one-day rate of change above 10%, you expect a bounce or bottom to form on the very next trading session. I would expect or anticipate that may not take place until about 9, 9.30 tonight, or maybe about between 3 and 4 in the morning, depending on how China and Europe uh, trade out there. But let's go spend a little time and take a look at the index ETFs out here and some of the sectors inside the S&P 500, see what kind of message they're generating for you and I. We begin by taking a look at the QQQ series ETF. Uh, forms a, a TD9 count top, roads momentum indicator top, and now today prices busted through its breakout level. Now, it's only day one, 368.79. You need two consecutive closes below that to suggest a move to 340.15. Those are the red horizontal lines out there. When you break one, you typically go to the next. Well, the SPIs, Friday's close was below the first level, 443. Today opened below the second level, 439.88. That says price could be targeting 420.08. Now, don't forget. Expect and anticipate some type of bounce to begin overnight, uh, early morning, something along those lines. I'm not going to be able to time it necessarily. I'll note when I take a look at the charts, though. If we take a look at the Dow Diamonds, that is the lower left-hand panel. Price is right now trading below, and it's testing the 338.68 level. That is its breakout area. The Russell 2000 is 217.44 to take a look at. Back up top on the right-hand side, the XLK trading below its breakout area of 153.97. 148.20 becomes a target. In the XLV, the target is 127.64. 64. The XLF, the target is all the way down at 3467. And inside the XLC, that's the communication sector for things like Facebook and so forth. That's down at about 7905. We've got a few seconds here. We can change screens. Let's do this quickly, Steve-O. And on this next screen, you're going to see the other sectors of the S&P 500. The XLE likely targeting the 45-ish area out there. That's a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. The XLY, 178.39 is its level of support. Uh, inside the XLI, the industrial sector, 93.95 could be its target. 68.77, that's on the XLP. The XLU has found support, or may have found support at the 65.93 level XLB. Down below 81, 80.49 out there. Hey, folks, stay tuned for David White. He's up next. Thanks so much for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow, 1 o'clock, uh, for the 1 o'clock update with Trader's Edge Show right after that. Take care, folks.